Hey Bear Squad, what is up? It is Big Bear here with AFC Vending, a Farnsworthy company, LLC. How are we all doing today? So we're here visiting our Claremont Subaru location once again. These guys, we have to be here pretty often because they go through a lot. You can see that we are pulling out of the, uh, what did I call that? Oh, the overflow bin right now, which is kind of falling apart since the last time we used it. Uh, broke it just a little bit, but it's working okay anyways. So we've got a lot more product today. We've gone and we've filled it up just a little bit here. Uh, I got a video coming out on that soon. It's going to be how, uh, how we spent the collection money from the first. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of product now. We're going to go through quite a bit of it because these guys are almost out of everything. Uh, we actually make two trips in total here uh, to fill up this machine. And we ran into a bit of a problem that I want to talk to you guys a little bit about when we get in there. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this because it's really basic troubleshooting. And a lot of people have problems with basic troubleshooting, so I'm kind of like I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, right off the bat, you can see we had two signs on there. It says we're out of water and we're out of cherry coke. I knew we were out of cherry coke, but I was really shocked about the water because according to my NIAC software and Vensoft. We still had some, and you can see there's still some in there. So I'm like, huh, I wonder what's going on here. Let's pull a couple dollars out. We're going to run them through the bill acceptor. It vends one. We're like, huh, well, it's, it's working. Whatever. So I start filling up the machine. We got, uh, we're got. we going to pull up Vensoft. I think I actually had a bit of an issue at first. Yep, you can see I'm having a bit of a problem. It's not doing what I'm asking it to do. I'm not sure if the service was bad or what was going on. I couldn't seem to figure out what it was, but uh, we played with it for a little while. I was about to give up and then it worked somewhere here. Where does it work? Come on. Come on. It works eventually. I know it does. Is that it? Is, is, is it working? Oh, it's working. Bam. We're in. We're in. Time to count what we got. And here's a guy. He's just like, hey, this was broken. I uh, wasn't vending properly, and I was like, you know, I'm going to give this a second try. Let's pull a couple more dollar bills out of this thing and see if we can replicate the problem. So always take them seriously. If someone says something's not working, it obviously did not work at some point in time. Now it's vended. We're going to put another dollar in. It's vended. We're going to put another dollar in. And oh no, I had already realized there's a problem here. So. There's a problem, I let him know there's a problem, and I tell him that I'm going to find a solution to the problem, and that's how you handle it. He lost money, I go in the honor system, and uh, he says he lost money, I give him the money he lost. End of story. I don't really, you know, I, I don't get too upset if I lose a couple dollars to make someone happy. So, what I'm doing here is I pulled all of it out of one column, and I'm putting it all into another column to see if maybe one of the uh, bottles of water is soft, which is something that happens. And bam, soft bottle of water right there. So we're gonna move it, we're gonna continue to move them over. Just see, uh, see, you see I squished it a little bit there. That bottle was just too soft. Occasionally it happens when you get them, they're just soft, they get caught in there and it causes a jam. So it was working every two vents and then the third vent it would jam. And uh, we still have an issue with the machine eating people's money when there's an empty column. So I have once again gotten a hold of Coke. Um, hopefully they come in and they take care of it this time. But uh, we filled up what we had for water, we tracked it in Vensoft, and now we're going to fill up the rest of the machine. We're counting everything up for the ginger ale because it was the next one that I had available. So we're going to go right in just finish filling that up. I made sure I had everything we needed to fill it up all the way this time. Because last time, I, eh, there was a couple that were just a little bit low. Not quite what we want, you know? So we want to make sure this sucker is nice and full. And uh, we're going to be visiting this location a little bit more often now because they are, man, they're going through some product, guys. While I was there, we'll see in a little bit. While I was there, we found a bit of another problem that I already knew was going to be an issue. So now we're filling up Coke. We're going to fill up as much of that as we possibly can with what we have, and we're going to wind up going through everything. And this is mostly overflow right now. We're working with mostly overflow. This isn't overflow. This is this is just what we had. But uh, So we're counting everything up, getting it all going. We're going to put some... Uh, actually, that is overflow. I lied again. That's uh, 
Fanta Grape. I really wish that uh, I could get a hold of Fanta Grape in a can without going through Coke. But uh, I think we're just going to stick with lemonade for most can locations instead. So we used up all that that we could. We're building another case of overflow right now. So we're going to open this up. I believe this is Cherry Coke. Yep, Cherry Coke. We're going to fill the Cherry Coke as much as we possibly can here. Look at that go. Man. Get in there. I don't think it quite fit. It just wasn't enough space. Not enough space to fit it there. So we're gonna put the rest of it in the overflow. Take all that. We're gonna quickly, quickly shut the machine up and go get another load because we need more. I can carry a lot more on that cart, but uh, it gets wicked uncomfortable if you have something that's a little bit wobbly. I just gave the guy one of the excess waters, the squishy water in particular. So we're gonna get, we need another case of water, another case of Coke. There we go. Got a case of Coke, case of water. I think I only went with one more case of water. I can't remember if I did or not. Yep, just one more case. Then we're gonna grab the rest of the overflow. So we have all the overflow on there. We have another case of Coke and another case of water. And we're going to fill the rest of it up. So we got Moxie. We got everything we need here. I'm going to open that sucker right back up here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, I just pointed at it. The uh, barbecue chips is uh, hanging there, dangling. Someone lost their money on the barbecue chips. Part of me knew that was going to happen. So I think what I should have done is just switch the barbecue chips with like uh, one of the smaller bags. Maybe put, uh, there's something I can put in there, I'm sure, and make it work. So right now we are putting in the uh, Moxie. We're filling up the Moxie all the way. We're gonna bring it right to the top, and then we're gonna head over and grab the good old Barks Root Beer, I believe. Yep, there we go, Barks Root Beer. This is one I was kind of worried about for a while because I thought it was gonna sell out. One week, all of a sudden, we sold like six of them, and I was like, whoa! Normally we don't sell that many root beer compared to everything else. So we're gonna put those guys back into a new overflow bin, fill up the rest of the overflow bin. I've started doing this with everything, including cans, just putting them into these little things because the, uh, the plastic breaks away when you go over a bump or something like that and then you've got bottles all over the place and broken stuff and it's just no good. So we're gonna fill up the water the rest of the way here. I think we actually stopped just shy at being completely full. So I didn't wanna open another bag for three waters. But we are gonna open another bag for six Cokes. <laughs> kinda of hypocritical, huh? Oh well. So that sucker's nice and full. Put it into the old Vensoft and start a new overflow bin. We've got a whole bunch of overflow from, from this one, but uh, we'll go through it pretty quick. Looks like everything is good to go. Move this out of the way, close her up, and uh, that is gonna put an end to all of that. Now, I have to go over real quick, and uh, I gotta fix that bag right there. That The bag's just kinda dangling, and uh, they gave the guy a bag of chips out of their thing so I'm just gonna pop it out of there boink, and throw it in their little thing close that sucker back up I should have spent a little more time here and like actually solved the problem instead of letting it stay that way so now what I'm doing is I'm going into uh, Nyack's website logging in and I'm gonna set the machine to full you can actually fill the entire machine with a press of a button which is kind of awesome Bam, full, see all the green? Good to go. I'm stoked about how that works out. I really like it. So now we're gonna pick up all of our trash and we're gonna head out this way just a little bit here. I get caught for a second and these guys are like, hey, are you guys filming me? And I'm like, well, yeah, kinda. All right guys, thanks for tuning in, I appreciate it. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. You can always like, share, and subscribe. Sharing and commenting are the two big things that YouTube really, really likes to see. Also, you can click on any of the links in the description below. They all help me out. 
Vensoft is a program used to keep track. It's basically QuickBooks for vending, and it's amazing. I use the software all the time, and I try to give demonstrations as often as possible. I have a Patreon in the description below. If you want some how-to videos on how to fix certain machines, that's where you're going to have to go to get it. I charge a dollar a month, and it, I think it's worth the value that I put in there. If there's a machine that you want me to do a video on, I also take messages on there as well. Something else that you guys can do, if you are trying to start a YouTube channel or if you have a YouTube channel in the works already, there's a Chrome extension called TubeBuddy in the description below. That program is amazing. It has so many tools, I can't even begin to tell you how many it has. Check out the free version if you like it. You can purchase it and I actually get a little bit of a commission off of that. Thank you guys so much. Remember to love life, live your dreams, and as always, be Farnsworthy. Peace.